Hello, it's Janice from Le Rue de Fleur. I just wanted to pop in and give a little garden update. This is my garden in mid-July. Um, we definitely had a lot of house projects going on this summer, so everything is a little bit of a work in progress. This area was really ripped up when we had new electric line run, but I did manage to get a few things in, and I built a new brick wall for this garden. Um, there are quite a few things I would like to move around. This is my gorgeous white butterfly bush. It's about um, six to eight feet tall. Then I have a bed on the opposite side that needs a little reworking as well, but um, I'm liking how the area is coming together and I feel like the brick walls really tie it together well. I redid the porch this summer by painting, um, resurfacing, and I really like how that turned out. I added a rug and typically have chairs out here and a little plant stand with some house plants. So it's a nice little spot for us to sit and look out across the front of our home and my beautiful lavender, phenomenal lavender bushes. I also tucked a few cana in down here along with the burgundy petunias. I really like the way that this area came out this summer. The color combination of all of the dark purples with that blue switchgrass is really beautiful to have kind of that um, very cohesive color scheme and it attracts a lot of bumblebees and uh, honeybees. And then I have kind of like a wildflower area that uh, needs a little trimming back with a very large um, purple butterfly bush. It attracts a lot of pollinators. It's usually all a flutter with birds, butterflies, um, all kinds of um, bees. And I just love watching them while we sit outside, float around the property. It really brings a lot of life. Another area that I feel really enhances that is some of the deep zinnia borders that I have that line um, all along the one part of our patio area. And then going up toward our shed, I save seeds myself every year and sow them pretty densely because I really like that look. Um, sometimes they do get a little rust by the end of the summer, but that doesn't terribly bother me. This is another area that got torn up when we had some electrical work ran, so I'm working in this section. Then I have a little bed um, sort of on the side of the house, and this is where my studio is located um, behind the window there. So I try to keep it so that I get some natural light in there. As you can imagine, it's a basement, so it stays a little dark. So I try not to block the window. Then we have the boardwalk area. And on this side, I had just a volunteer sunflower. I love some of those serendipitous things that happen in the garden. And then this section I planted with petunias and some um, other flowers that kind of self seed. I have the gara and a lot of zinnias in this area as well. Again, when we're sitting on the patio or by our fire pit, I love watching all of the bumblebees and butterflies kind of dance around. And then that is our view from the fire pit area out across the hills and mountains. There is a little fire station, fire um, wood station, and again, the little rain garden that um, really saw a lot of rain this year. So it did really well. I'm just really happy with how that turned out. And I love the Gara again as a great like accent. This is our fire pit, which we had a friend do um, a new welded uh, fire ring for us. And then to kind of solve a little bit of the piping issues around the back of the house at our grill area, I just put in this cart that has a bunch of house plants on it that I probably will have to edit before winter time, but I'm enjoying that station and it's much better than looking at like some of the necessity things of like piping on the back of the house. I have this little meadow box and a volunteer pumpkin that came up in a planter and it has a bunch of little pumpkins on it so I'm excited to see where that goes although it's a little wild to have a pumpkin on the back and then here's the camp terrarium that I made um, I do have information on that in a blog post on my website at laredofleur.com so you could check that out if you're interested and then we have these large planters on the other side of the patio that sort of divides it from where we park our vehicles and this year I got some beautiful hibiscus for in it and this is just the bed that rings the outside 
and some of the planters and my children hanging out in the shade. And then when you go in through the gate, all of the planting in this area are dog friendly. Nibble says hi. And this is kind of our new entertaining space. We have just completed putting in our above ground pool and we still have a little tidying up to do in this area as well as additional landscaping but we built a nice little deck and a path to get up there i just have a few random pots as i try to decide what the landscaping will be and then i have this wedge around the back that definitely needs some help and some landscaping and we have to put in a retaining wall as well but i love little projects so it'll be something to continue to think about and work on I did get a few extra pine trees for down at the end of our yard, which will hopefully provide a privacy screen in the not too distant future. I love how the um, herb buckets, these are really primarily for my daughter to play with, are down here in an old wash basin stand at the garden gate into my veggie patch and um, I've just been trying to keep up with the weeds down here to be honest with you. Um, I was working quite a bit this summer, which I don't necessarily usually do, but um, I am getting some more pumpkins, so that's pretty exciting. I'm just trying to fight back the weeds and put down some more mulch, and I loved putting in the sunflowers. Of course, the pollinators really love those as well, so I think that's working out nicely, and I probably would do something similar next year. I always forget to leave enough space between things to like actually access them and pick them. So that's something I need to try to remember in the future. But I do like the kind of chaotic abundance of all of my garden spaces, to be honest. And in here amongst the weeds, I have some onions that are ready to be harvested. I had yellow, white, and red. And then I also have a few squash that are really starting to come on good now. And I'm really happy with those. We like eating squash and they're great for dogs. So you can feed them to your dog as well. And I'll have a bunch of zucchini. And we're starting to get some ripe tomatoes. So that's exciting. Last year, the deer ate all of mine, as well as green peppers. This garden actually does much better with green peppers than what it used to. So I'm excited about that. Then this side of the garden was new this year. Um, we had extended it and put in a new fence and it just kind of have some random things planted over here. Um, a couple more peppers. I did try to plant corn. Um, again, this side was new. I didn't get a chance to amend the soil very much. So I only have eight, but it's still fun. And a couple of volunteer petunias. And that's the end. Thank you for joining me today, friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more uh, garden and quilting content.